My name is Lucy Bowton, and I'm currently studying the PGC primary course at Trinity in Swansea. I'm here, here to discuss with you an aspect of my teaching practice that was noticed by my peers and that, and that I will continue to do to ensure effective learning to all pupils. Now, I want you to think about your teaching experience so far and how we include our support staff to help creative and effective learning. We need to support them and provide them with confidence and structure when they are leading their focus groups. In order to become successful teachers, we also need the support from the staff in the classroom. Building that communication and trust is integral to ensure that the children are being taught to achieve their best by all members of staff. Therefore, the innovative approach that I will be focusing on is extensive additional planning for the support staff by solving potential problems. On my previous PTE, I was placed in a reception class, which was assisted by two additional support staff. The class focused their learning through carousel activities, where the, where the additional support staff would lead their focus groups. This meant providing a clear understanding and structure to the support staff is vital. So what did my approach consist of? For every session, I would provide an informal script intertwined with a set of instructions outlining the structure of the activity, which were presented and explained prior to the session. This would allow any questions and confusion to be settled before the activity took place. And most importantly, they would feel confident. It is vital to think about the potential challenges from all abilities in the class and how to further their learning by extending the MAT pupils and other individuals to progress their learning opportunities. This links to the next steps and future learning of the pupils. With the additional support staff being aware of the skills and objectives needed to be gained by the pupils, I was able to, put, to converse with them after activity to track pupil progress and help plan future teaching. This helps me to understand whether an aspect of learning needs to be repeated or extended to a new area. My approach provides a clear pathway of learning where potential problems, challenges and misconceptions could be solved instantly. On this slide, I have included an example of my informal script and plan that I give each of my support staff for every individual lesson that they lead. Firstly, at number one, I include the the specific learning objectives, success criteria and skills that the specific activity will consist of. This is essential that the curriculum is being taught and met and the support staff are aware of this. At number two, I would outline a detailed explanation of the activity which is always written informally. I decided to write it informally so that the support staff wouldn't feel patronised by a strict agenda. At number three, key phrases are crucial in all activities, especially with the use of Welsh. Welsh is an aspect of primary education today and should be used at all times where possible. It is a growing language and integral part of the edu education system in Wales, with the aim of creating a million Welsh speakers by 2050. And at number four, it is important to include the possible situations that could arise if a group doesn't understand or needs to be challenged. Therefore, I would always include solutions to these possible circumstances. The numbers represent the amount of groups in the class. Therefore, I would tailor each group with individual solutions and challenges. It could be perceived by some that this, this approach is more work when planning and lesson preparation can be very time consuming. However, this is an effective approach towards enabling pupils to gain an enriched education. However, the main feature that I include throughout my plans is the potential dialogue that could arise from the pupils at specific stages. The potential dialogue is to aid the support staff of any possible situations that they may not be prepared for and have the subject knowledge to help them with. This is important if I am engaged elsewhere and am able to guide them. The aim of this approach is to solve problems before they have even begun. To finish, here's one final thought. Take every opportunity and experience for your pupils and use your support staff to help create this exciting pathway for them. 
Think how you can make your teaching full of challenges and experiences in the time you have. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for listening to my innovative approach and would like to leave you with a little inspiration that a young girl in my class gave me the, gave me the other day and it definitely supported my passion for teaching and why it's such a rewarding career. Thank you very much, Jill Conval.